there is our Hosomaki, there is our Norimaki, so Degiri Sushi and the Gungan Sushi. That's how we can make sushi at home with Sivas. What's up Sushi Lord's family? Namaste and greeting from Sushi Man Santos. Today I'm gonna show you Sivas Sushi at home. How to make sushi at home with Sivas. I have here the fillet of the Sivas. To make the Sivas Sushi, things you need firstly, okay? First of all, you need one knife, the Anaziva knife. If you don't have the Anaziva, you can use the any kinds of safe knife or kitchen knife. Then after you need the chopping board, Sivas fillet. If you don't know how to fillet Sivas, you can check link on my description box. I'm demonstrating the very step by step how to fill at Sivas, okay? And I'm going to use the spargus and I have here the cucumber and here is the avocado and I have here the onion chips, fine chopped onion chips and here is the wasabi and I have here the ginger, that is the ginger pickles. I'm going to use the sesame seeds to the decorations. I'm going to use the bamboo leaves and definitely I have here the sushi rice. I'm going to make the sear sushi so you need the fire machines and the most important thing, you should have the nori seaweed. I'm going to make the teju. Teju means the equal quantity of water and the vinegar. We can use ginger water also. It, it's also good. It will prevent the bacteria also, okay? Nice. I'm going to use these ones today. First of all, I will prepare the fish, okay? Before this, I'm going to make a little bit moisture my hands to prevent the bacteria. Yeah. Now, that is with the skins. That is without the skins. For the without the skins, I'm going to put here in another place. To the skins, I'm, prefer, I'm going to prepare one thing. That is the fillet of sivas with the skins. So I'm going to do the UV key. Okay, UV key means we'll put here hot water. Firstly, I'm going to put here the salt, just a little bit. Yeah. Now. I'm going to put here the hot water, the boiling water, okay? Just a little bit. Yes. And after that, we have to put in the, the icy cold water. After that, I'll take out this ones. It's called UV key in Japanese. Now I'm going to make the dry with the help of the pepper. For the spins, I'm going to do the syrup. Yes, you can put in the top of the ice so textures and flavor of the fish cannot change it but today I don't have the ice so I'm just going to put here okay. Okay first of all I'm going to show you osomaki with sivas. To make the osomaki first of all we need I have a full seaweed I'm gonna break it in the half. Osomaki means thin sushi roll. Oso means literally translated to the thin. Maki means roll thin roll yes that's it okay i have here the bamboo mat if you don't know how to have the bamboo mat you can check link on my description box if you visit my youtube you will find here lots of video which will help you to make the very good sushi okay and you need one towel paper or the moisture towel i'm going to prepare sivas for the osomaki okay i'm going to use these ones Let's see, it's enough for Osomaki. I'll take a small rice ball, 60 to 70 gram. Yes, like this, put in the middle. And I'm going to separate very gently. Leave one finger on the top. Yes, now you can use by this finger to place the sushi rice or you can do like this. Yes, now gently separate the sushi rice on the seaweed. Now just use a little bit wasabi. Wasabi will prevent the bacteria and it will kill the bacteria. That's very important. So you, you can see the all the sushi stick using wasabi. Yes, now we can put the sivas. The tira of sivas. I'm going to use a little bit Finds of spring onion. Okay, then let's roll it. When you are rolling, you have to leave one finger here. And for the osomaki, we'll, we are leaving already one finger here. And take the bamboo mat with these two finger, like this, or you can take like this, doesn't matter. 
then secure your thumb finger will go here like this then secure the ingredients by three finger this two finger will help to catch the bamboo mat and to roll it look at this nice the bamboo tip will keep toss the till sushi rice yes you can see here now roll it again it's done almost yes nice that's our wasomaki sushi yes okay i'm going to cut it okay first of all i'll make the little bit weight of my knife then i'm cut i'm going to cut in the middle yes wow nice i'm going to use a little bit of water so sushi rice cannot be sticky with my knife That's our Osumaki. Yes, I'm going to put here. Yes, this is our Osumaki sushi roll. Wow, it's good. That's my seaweed. Always I'm making, I'm showing you about the futomaki. Futomaki means using whole seaweed with colorful ingredients. Puto means fat sushi roll with colorful ingredients. But today I'm going to make the nori maki. We'll use two third of the nori seaweed. That means I'm going to take out this ones, almost two, one third of the seaweed I'm going to take out. That means the nori maki will the bigger than the hoso maki and smaller than the, uh, like a futo maki. I'm going to prepare fish for the nori maki. here I'm going to put here and when you are placing the sushi rice always place on the rough side you can see here that is the lining part there is the shiny part the signing part shiny part will be downside nice let's place the sushi rice I'm going to use almost 100 grams sushi rice then I'm going to gently separate it yeah nice very softly and gently now I'm going to push downside. I'll leave in the top of the seaweed almost two finger, as you can see here. Now I'll use a little bit of wasabi. Don't use too much because the wasabi will be very strong. Just a little bit. Now I'm going to use the avocado. If you don't know how to cut avocado for sushi, you can check link on my description box. I'm showing there the proper way to cut avocado for sushi rolls and cucumber. And I'm going to use this part also. Yeah, I use here the avocado, cucumber, and asparagus and wasabi. Now I'm going to put the the tira of the sivas. Then for the crunchiness, extra crunchiness, I'm going to use the white sesame seeds. The sushi rolling techniques is the same as like the hosomaki, and it will be easy because that is the bigger one. So you can take the bamboo mat like this and roll it very softly and gently yeah if you need very tight roll normally Japanese don't like the very tight roll but in in a fusion sushi in Europe especially sushi chef are saying oh your roll is open and your roll is very soft make the tight you can do one things put here the bamboo mat and push these ones like this so your sushi roll will be a little bit tight, but Japanese people don't like the tight sushi roll. When I learn the sushi, they don't like to make the tight. It should be a fluffy. Now roll it very carefully. Yes. It's done. Then that closing part, for example, that closing part, always put downside so it will be moisture and it will close properly. Or some people use a little bit water here to close properly yes let's make the plating first i'll cut the my nori maki let's see how is it normally you can cut in the middle and middle and middle so it will be a 10 pieces or it's depend on your systems it's depend on your uh restaurants menu 
how how many pieces he wants to cut but normally i love to cut nine pieces and i will cut randomly normally One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's happened ten pieces. Yes, that's it. That's all. Nurimaki with avocado, cucumber, asparagus, and sivas. And also, I used a little bit toasted sesame seeds. Let's make the bunkan with sivas. To make the bunkans, normally I love to cut five, three or five fingers. Or you can cut in the long stripe also. Yes. Take the small rice ball like this. Then I'm going to use a little bit wasabi in here, then roll it softly and gently. Also, you can make the nigiri with this neta, but it's called if you have the round chef, it's a battle boat, seems like a boat, it's called bunkan. But this neta is a little bit too soft, you know. Normally, when we are making the salmons or any kinds of cucumber, the neta will be a little bit long, so it will be nice. easy. But if you have the short neta, it will be hard to roll it. In the top of this ones, I love to use some soft sivas. That is the spice mayo. Just a little bit soya. That is the soya. And I'm going to use a little bit fine of spring onion. Now we can fill the, on the top. If you don't know how to make spice mayo, you can check link in my description box. Nice. That's our bunkan. I'm going to put here in the middle. And just on the top, just a little bit fine of spring onion. And definitely I love to use the sesame seeds. Yeah. That's our bunkan. Almost two finger like this. Okay, last but not least, let's make the nigiri with sivas. The belly part is very good. That white part is belly part, so it's it will be really tasty. It's enough. I'll give the little bit sunk. One and two. That will be also. Yes. The nigiri is if he wants to be a perfect, it will be a, one of the hardest thing to to make those nigiri sushi. If you are making at your home, it will be really easy to make the nigiri sushi. Firstly, grab the small rice ball, very softly and gently. Don't push too much. It should be a fluff. Ears, ears should be inside the rice. Nice. And grab the neta. It's called neta, the slice of fish. And take the small wasabi, put here. And put here, the rice ball and give the squeeze here to fill the ear in the rice and flip it yes i'm making very slowly 
because I want to show you. Then make the it's a hand press sushi. Nigiri means the hand press sushi, so we'll make we'll press the hand like this and give the squeeze. That's it. Now I'm going to teach you another way, okay? Give a squeeze and flip in, in the another hands, flipping way. Then put in the same place and give the squeeze. And always, if you, if you are giving the first time, so if you are making the first time, if the professional chef making the nigger, you can see the thumb finger will press the rice inside. Yes. I'll make more two for the sear. Yes. This time I'm giving just a little bit here. looks like this ones okay let's make the nigiri with the uv key techniques now i'm going to take the small rice ball and i'm going to use the little bit of wasabi normally for the nigiri lots of chef are using 10 gram 12 gram it's depend on them but uh, the japanese chef told me if the client is eating on the in front of you you can use the 10 gram if the client is eating in the little bit far away from you in the table you can use 10 to 12 gram if the client is eating at home their home they cannot order more you can use till 16 gram so there isn't any universal rules we have to use sushi rice till this gram we cannot say it's depend on the conditions yes nice that's our nigiri firstly i'll make the syrup for this nigiri let's put this content in the middle we can use the nigiri here and i'm going to use this your nigiri in the middle of the uv let's put this content on the top of this one I'm going to use here. There is our hosomaki. There is our nori maki. So, naked sushi and the gunkan sushi. That's how we can make sushi at home with sivas. That's the hosomaki, nori maki sushi, and the nigiri and gunkan. How is it? If you really like this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos about sushi. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you in the next video. Have a good day.